All right, people. So I found this little piece of, I want to say it's an upside down tree, possibly a piece of a cherry tree. I split it down the middle. And what I want to do is I want to actually get inside here. So whether it's going to be a little gnome or a wood spirit, I want to get in here. So let's work with that. Let's pull you guys in a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab a pencil and we're going to cut out about this much. And we're going to come across here because we still want to leave it in the tree. So we're going to go around and cut out the little nugget thing right here. This little tree knot we're going to get past. And we're going to come around and we're going to go about there. If I have to, I'll take it a little further out. But kind of like center. And then we'll put a face inside here somewhere. So let's draw it out to the point where we really need it. And then we'll start cutting. Well, that looks about right. That would be a little wider on this side. Kind of like so. So, we're going to do. We'll throw that down. We're going to grab a palm gouge. Again, flex cut. I'll bring you guys down just a hair. There we go. Lock you in, and we're going to cut this out. So from here, nice and simple. Just want to go up. Go up and cut. Just want to clear the bark off. And then we're going to go from there. Just keep cutting across. And watch your fingers. Always watch your fingers. Not too much pressure. And just go across. Not too much pressure. And go across. So I think we're definitely going to do a smaller wood spirit. We're just a face. And not a gnome. Because I just did a gnome. So let's go with something different. Dig in a little bit. Get rid of this stuff. So we're almost into the tree bark. It should be white like this when we get down to the level. I want to keep it a little brown. So not go too deep with it. I'm going to have to get past this knot though. But that'll be easy. These things are extremely, extremely sharp. So what I'm going to have to do is actually get past the brown and go into the tree. We'll just, when we stain it with the face in it, we'll bring back that darkness. We're getting there. Love these tools. Love, love, love these tools. Two companies, Beavercraft and FlexCut. Two of the best out there. Again, watch your fingers. And just control the knife. That's all. And leave this old tree bark on. And clear it out. This is where that knot is, right there. So I'm gonna want to be careful. I'm gonna do is put the palm gauge down. I'm gonna grab a knife. From here, we're gonna kind of get this thing out of here. There we go. Looking good, looking good. Okay, that's 
about as far as I want to go. Because, like I said, I want to keep this silver tree bark from the upside down tree. Again, just clean it up a little bit. And we're going to go to part two of drawing out the face. There we go. Nice, nice. Good. Good stuff, good stuff. Perfect. Okay, so that was step one. Step two, we're going to go to uh, drawing out the face. So it took about five minutes to clear that out. Nice, nice. we got a face in here. We'll dig deep and we'll get a mustache going and all that fun stuff. So I will definitely be back for part two.